Hey guys, Dark Recycling FPV, and I am sitting here today with Jazzy. I'm going to introduce you guys to her. So hold on one second, and let me uh, let me let me kind of get this here. I'm going to switch cameras real quickly. Uh, guys, this is Jazzy right here. She is the newest addition to our Cyclone FPV family. She's kicking butt here for us, and she's been actually working. On, I've got this camera in my hand. She's actually been working on this drone right here, and I want to show, show you some of the soldering that she's done. This is pretty sweet. So she installed that uh, TBS in here for us for a customer. And this is her soldering work. As a matter of fact, I can't do it justice because I've got the lights on. Let me, uh, let me just unplug this real quickly and show you just how good her soldering is, by the way. So check that out. All right, so this is her soldering. She soldered those four wires right there that go to that TBS crossfire. Did a hell of a job. And so she's been doing a real good job. Jazzy, congratulations to you. Thank you. Uh, so she is going to be doing a lot of the work here, guys. And I'm real proud of her. Anyway, I wanted to introduce you to her. And I also want to show you what we're about to do here. So uh, since this is going to a customer, we always video our drones before we send them out so that you can't make any claims that it didn't work or wasn't tested. So I'm showing Jazzy how to do that right now. And I figured we might as well do this video at the same time. So let me just do a picture in picture here for you. Show you exactly what we're going to do. So the, the crossfire has been bound already. We've already done the updates and firmware updates. Too, so I'm just going to plug this in. And I'm going to power it up. And what we're going to do is we're going to head into beta flight real quickly. And I'm not going to share the computer screen just because it's not that major of an issue. All I'm going to do is use the radio and show you guys that it is working. So let me go to my configuration tab. And Jazzy, this is what I was talking to you about. Um, is uh, you want to go change this from, oh, it is set to SBUS already. Okay. So, oh, no, you want to change it, change sorry, it. to TBS. So, yeah. So you'll come down here and you'll just switch to, instead of it being SBUS, just drop down and go to Crossfire, CRSF, okay? Mm -hmm. Once you do that, we should be able to get onto here and go to receiver and we can see now, uh, and you know what, it's probably a good idea that we share this part because I think people might have questions about this anyway, so we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so we're showing Jazzy here, as I was showing her, even though we've done the soldering, we know it's right, she's gotta have to test it so that she can feel confident that the work that she's done is, uh, you know, she can stand by it in case the customer says was done properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a three screen here, and it may be hard to read the three screens, but let me just show you. We've got one, two, and three. There we go. So what you're going to see here on the left-hand side is beta flight. And what you notice right off the bat is roll is down, which means that we have our throttle in the wrong spot. That's this channel mapping right here. So we're going to drop down and go to spectrum, okay, and then click save. Now everything's right. Now the four in the center and the bottom one, which is throttle, moves fine. All we want to do is we'll let the customer set up his modes, but what we want to do is we want to make sure there's your arm, okay? Uh, I do not like the way they've done this, so we're going to just set it up ourselves. So arm is always going to be this one for us, okay? Customer can change it later. I don't mind. I always add horizon, and this will be the auxiliary too, and we'll put horizon over here. And then we'll go to a fail safe, and I think these are programmed for fa there's fail safe. All right, and we'll put beeper on the same one. Just flip it like that, drag that over, and then uh, air mode. Uh, will not be here. Air mode will be in the middle of our regular flight modes, and that's it. So now, to just show that you've done it right, you saw everything moving, so you know you've got communication, right? Um, and so what you're going to do next is you will just come on over here to motors, and you'll come on over here, and you'll turn that on, and then you'll arm it. And if the motors are spinning like they are now, you know it's working, everything's good, customer sees that, hey, look, it's working, it's fine, now it's on the customer to get it set up for his radio, but you've done your job properly, okay? Mm -hmm. And that pretty much is all there is to it. Once you're done with that, you power everything off, and that's the end of it, all right? All right, guys, so so that's all we wanted to go over, and I wanted Jazzy to see that. And I also want to take the time to introduce you to her. You're going to start seeing a lot more of her here now. Um, she is kicking butt, and she's going to be doing a lot of the repairs with me. So Sam's in the back, and she's been helping Sam do all of the inventory as well. So we've had all the tw 2021 inventory counted or most of it, and there's a lot. Um, and going into 2022, we needed some help, and we need some dependable help that was actually gonna show up on time and not have a problem working, God knows, and not have sticky fingers. So, and I believe we found that uh, with Jazzy. And also a special thanks to Matt Howitt uh, for um, also all his support and getting Jazzy here as well. All right, guys, God bless, be safe. Most of all, go spend time with your family. We got great news today. We're gonna get to spend more time with ours. Talk to y'all soon, and uh, we'll see you later. Peace.